Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to do my Safikaton TBR. The Safikaton is a readathon that has been created by a lot of people that I'm going to leave in the comments. It's going to run until the 28th and it actually started yesterday. But I'm in my last week of my first year of my master's, which means that I don't have any time right now. And I finally found some time to tell you what I'm going to read. This actually has a chart with a bingo and I'm going to try to fill the first line in the chart. The first one that I'm going to read is a book with a bisexual main character and I'm going to read Like Water by Rebecca Podos. This is a book that I've been looking for for quite some time and I actually have it. It's about a girl in a small town where people or they live as soon as they can or they stay forever and she really wants to live but then her father gets diagnosed with Huntington's disease so she has to stay in the town and she starts working as a mermaid in this performance and she meets this girl who is her co-worker. I love books about small towns and I've heard a lot of really good things about this book. Then we have SFF and I'm going to read Winter Glass by Ben Jones Read One Cow. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, I've been practicing a lot. This book, in the words of the author, is an own voices epic fantasy retelling of Snow White with ruthless lesbians and all POC cast of characters set in a ghost powered fantasy Southeast Asia. And I actually have this book from Netgalley and I've been wanting to read it for a while. I just haven't been in an SFF mood. It sounds very, very adventurous and it's full of interesting characters. And I love that cover. Then for the under 500 ratings, I have Double Exposure by Chelsea M. Cameron. This is actually the second book in the Violet Hill series, which I've only read the first book of. Chelsea Sam Cameron writes very good female female romances and I really want to finish this series in this readathon. And this book is about a girl who has like three jobs and who works in this very important cafe that we actually got to meet in the first book. And then a journalist comes to the cafe and she starts spending a lot of time with this journalist. I'm not really worried about this one and I'm so excited to read this. The final item of that line is a Jewish main character and for that one I'm going to read Need One Girl Two by Shira Glassman and it's about two girls, one who is the inspiration for the work of the other girl and it has very outspoken and passionate main characters and I've heard a lot of good things about this book and actually when I was looking up Jewish main characters with an FF romance I saw that my friend Math rated this book like five, four or five stars and I knew that I was going to read this book for this readathon. I, I want to read two other books um, if I have the time because a lot of these books are very short. Um, I have the third book in the Violet Hill series that I was talking about before which is Second Chance and it's actually a, about the cousin of the girls in the previous book. It obviously has a second chance romance as a trope which is a trope that I very much like to read about. And finally, I really, really want to get to this book, and that is for the disabled main character category, and that is uh, Treasure by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I've been reading a lot of Rebecca Weatherspoon this year. It's about a girl who goes to the bachelorette party of her sister, and when she goes back to university, she meets the girl who was the stripper for her sister's bachelorette party. And I actually trust Rebecca Weatherspoon with everything she writes because I haven't been disappointed by any of her books and she's very aware of what she's writing and she writes with a lot of passion and with a lot of care for her characters. I'm really hoping I can get through all of this because there are some short books here. Okay, hope you like this. If you did subscribe and I will see you in a scene. Bye!